Hi guys and girls, I'm Obsidian Ant and welcome back to Elite Dangerous. There's been a bunch of new developments down on the alien Thargoid sites and today I'm going to take a look at exactly what they are. Now the new developments surround the unknown links and if you don't have one of these you can pick one up inside the antechambers inside the Thargoid structures. Now sometimes you might come in here and they don't spawn. If it does happen to you, then you can just log back out to the main menu and log back in again. In a fresh instance, you should find that they do spawn for you. So, what's happened then is that some new sites have been discovered. As of this recording, there are a total of 19 alien sites now. And what we're going to look at today is exactly how they have been discovered. There's a very specific method, and it's actually very interesting. Now, you're going to need to bring one of the unknown links up into space, just send out your cargo hold, and play back one of the messages you got from the unknown device. Now you may remember you got this device after you put the unknown link and the unknown artifact as well as the unknown probe into the alien device and it generated that star map. So play this to the unknown link when aligned to its dish and it will react. So the unknown link responds but more specifically it gives you a very detailed message. Listen. So, this audio was discovered by Commander Val. It was also figured out by Commando's bio -N, as well as Commando Wace, that it has some very heavy-duty maths involved. Now, if you're interested, I'll link the forum thread below and you can go and check all that out. But essentially, you can decrypt that audio into a set of coordinates. And from the set of coordinates, you can deduce a system to travel to. So, we now have a system but we need something a bit more specific. We need a set location within this system. So to obtain that, simply drop out of Supercruise and deploy the unknown link again. In terms of in-game lore, it's uncertain what these unknown links are actually doing. Are they here to communicate with humanity or are they here as communication devices or location devices for the aliens themselves? Maths, of course, is a universal language. If two species are unable to communicate, it's quite probable that they may be able to do so through the use of maths. So here in the system, simply play back the audio message to the unknown link again, but this time you need to ensure you use the correct audio or the correct message. There are three, and if you play the incorrect one, then nothing will happen. No harm done though, all you have to do is play one of the other messages. When you play the correct one, then the unknown link will respond yet again. But this time, it won't give you a message. It'll do something very different. So whilst the decoding of the maths might not be suitable for everyone, it's certainly way above my head. What we can all do is play back the message and follow the laser beam. Now what this beam is doing is pointing to a specific planet, a planet within the system we're currently in, and all you need to do to determine which planet it is, is first align yourself to the beam and then re-enter Supercruise. Now don't forget to pick up the unknown link again, because you will need it in just a moment. What you're going to need to do is deploy it again once you get a little bit closer to your destination. So there is a list of systems where the unknown link will work in this manner, and there's a list of systems where you can find alien structures. Again, I'll link that in the video description. So once you've collected the unknown link again, jump straight back into Supercruise, this time aligned to where the uh, laser or the little beam was pointing at, and immediately you'll be able to see which planet it was pointing at. So just select this and fly straight towards it. This though is only one more step, it still won't get you to the exact destination. And that's quite often because what it's pointing at is either a cluster of planets or a planet with a bunch of moons. Here you can see it was pointing at two moons, so I had to fly a bit closer and then get it to point at which moon it wanted me to land on. So it's pointing to the moon on the right here. Once you know exactly which planetary body you need to go to, go up close. Don't go within orbital cruise, because if you deploy the device within orbital cruise, it will crash down to the ground. And then it will point to a specific location on the planet. You can then fly towards that and you will discover a new alien structure. Now all the structures are fairly similar to each other, but they do have some significant differences. Here is yet another one. 
and you can see it does differ to the one previously. Here there are four large arms, whereas the previous one had just three. What these are is still a huge mystery. Some people, like I said in a previous video, believe they are crash sites. Personally, I don't go with that theory. I tend to think they are growths of some sort. And personally, I think they are an evolution of the barnacles. My suspicions are that the central structure in which the unknown device resides is a growing chamber of some type, and I believe that largely because it seems to be filled with eggs. But whatever these places truly are, it seems that as the mystery continues to unravel, we may get answers sooner rather than later. As always, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you guys and girls next time.